Hi, I'm former MLB player Jermaine Curtis, and today I'm going to teach you how to hit for a high average in baseball. And what I'm going to share with you has allowed me to hit 300 several times in my professional career and make it to the MLB and also be drafted from UCLA. And it's also what I've learned from uh, Hall of Famers and guys who've played at the highest level and the best players in the game. And what I'm going to share with you is more of a high level view, but it's definitely going to help you to hit for a high average. Now, the first key we have to be early and i know you've heard it a million times throughout your entire life be early to class be early to school be be early you hear it a billion times and you'll continue to hear it but being early in the batter's box is super important because it allows you to recognize pitches early it allows you to make good decisions if you're late it's going to force you to make bad decisions and how are you going to hit for a high average if you're making a lot of bad decisions at the plate. And what I mean when I say bad decisions, you're swinging at pitchers, pitchers, you're swinging high and inside, you're swinging here, you're swinging off the plate. We need to make good decisions and by being early, it allows us to recognize whether or not it's going to be a good pitch to hit or make a good decision. So the first thing we need to do is we need to be early as a hitter. And one way I like to work on that is that I like to hit off a pitching machine. I personally love the pitching machine. I think it's by far one of the things that helped me the most, especially because guys are throwing 95 plus. So how are we able to hit that by using a pitch? machine it's more game like now i know a lot of people hate it and there's a lot of pros that hate it as well but i would recommend that you use it and if you don't have a pitching machine what you could do is get a wiffle ball machine max bp uh they create a great wiffle ball machine that i used to use when i was in the mlb um, I was playing in there and me and Carlos Beltran would be hitting off the pitching machine uh, before games and and if we didn't both start the game then we would hit late in the game to get ourselves ready for a pinch hit late in the game. Then I got sent down and when I got sent down we couldn't take our pitching machines like we do in the major leagues. In the major leagues you could take your pitching machines wherever you go because you have your own batting cage but not in uh, AAA. You have to share the batting cage with other people. So when I got sent down, I bought myself a wiffle ball machine and I used that wiffle ball machine. That's a great substitute for you to help you if you don't have a pitching machine. I highly recommend you get one. Um, it's definitely going to help you. And if you're interested in that, link is in the description below. Um, it'll give you a discount as well so that you can get a pitching machine to start helping you. So the drill I would do if I was using a pitching machine or if I was using a wiffle ball machine is the box drill. Basically what you're doing is every swing you take and hit a line drive, you walk closer to it. Okay. Boom, swing, bam, go closer and closer. You get it. So we're going to keep going closer as close as you can get to the pitching machine. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we're shortening our movements up. We're not going to be too here. We're going to, you're going to force yourself to be simple you're gonna force yourself to be small you're gonna feel like you're in a box but you're not in a box and so that right there is a drill that's going to help you to start being early and um, being more consistent so that's drill number one and that's step number one the second one is we need to be balanced so if you're not balanced you're not gonna hit okay it's just simple as that Balance is by far the most important thing when it comes to being a good hitter and a hitter that's going to hit for a high average because the goal of the pitcher is to get you off balance. The goal of the hitter is to maintain their balance. So we want to focus on being balanced. And the one way I do that and when I'm coaching my kids or when I'm hitting myself is that I take a swing and I just stay in that position. See how long you can stay. If you remember Ken Griffey, every time he would swing, he would literally be a baseball card. And so I wanna tell you to do the baseball card drill. When you swing, stay there. Can you take a pitcher? Can you stay in that position? A lot of kids can't do it. They'll start falling over or doing MC Hammer. You know what I mean? They'll start dancing. They can't stay in that balanced position. So we wanna focus on getting to that position and staying there. That's when you know you're balanced. All the best hitters been able to stay in that position. They're just balanced. When you're not balanced, you're not gonna be able to hit. So that's 
key number two. But first, I've created a free cheat sheet for you to help you if you're struggling to be a consistent hitter or you're lacking in power. If this sounds like you, the link will be in the description below. And this cheat sheet also comes with video training so you can see what you need to do to improve. And when you sign up for free today, you'll get access to more free goodies that will help you to improve your performance, but also get early VIP access to have your questions answered by MLB players. If this is something you're interested in, link will be in the description below. And with that said, back to the video. Third one is recognizing pitches early. I know that goes back to being early. If you don't recognize pitches early, you can't control the strike zone. And that becomes a big problem because then you start swinging at pitchers pitches. And we want to decrease the amount of swings we take towards pitchers pitches and we want to increase the amount of swings we take towards hitters pitches because baseball history was created in the middle of the plate. So we want to focus on hitters pitches and we want to decrease uh, pitchers pitches. You, we want to stop being a swinger and be a hitter. And the hitter swings at good pitches, makes good decisions, and that's how they're gonna be able to hit for a high average. Now the third key is improving your hand-eye coordination. Let's be honest, if you have bad hand-eye coordination, it's going to hinder you from being a high average hitter. But you can improve your hand-eye coordination. It's something that can be learned, it's a skill. So with that being said, the things that I recommend you do, um, which are, there's a million things that you can do. Uh, one thing that you could do is play ping pong. At the professional level, every stadium has a ping pong table. And there's a reason for that because players are working on their hand-eye coordination, but having fun um, as they do it. So you can do that, or you could, get a broomstick and hit wiffle balls with them, little wiffle balls or acorns, or you could use the Max BP Pro, and it helps to improve your hand-eye coordination. There's so many things you can do to improve your hand-eye coordination, and I would recommend that you stay on it. Just don't do it when you're hitting, work on at home. You can juggle. I would watch TV and then when it was a commercial break, I would juggle with three baseballs, just working my hand-eye coordination, just keeping it going. Another thing you could do is you could play pepper. Go to a batting cage and just go boom. Don't even take full swings. Just take bat to the ball. Get ready, bam. Get ready, bam. Just take barrel to the ball. Okay, learn how to take barrel to the ball consistently. There are just so many ways you can improve your hand-eye coordination. And if you want to hit for a high average in baseball, you're definitely gonna have to have really good hand-eye coordination because you have to be able to take barrel to the ball on those pitches that are inside the zone. So the next key is your swing. Now, I am very lenient when it comes to the swing because playing 26 years of baseball, I've seen guys be successful in so many ways. They swung like this, bam, hitting doubles, hitting homers, hitting line drives all over the place. This one like this, homers, doubles. They, it doesn't really matter because that doesn't define you on what is being a good hitter. A good hitter is controlling the strike zone, is not swinging outside the zone, swinging at his pitches. That the swing is not saying that it's irrelevant because it's definitely relevant. You have to take swings to the ball, but there's more to being a good hitter than the swing. So the swing isn't really the big deal. It's what you do that allows you to become that good hitter. The things that you do swing at, things that you don't, what you're thinking at the plate, how do you approach the game? That is what makes a good hitter, hitter that hit for a high average. But if we're gonna talk about the swing, which I know you guys wanna talk about. I like to think getting on plane with it and finishing high through it. Another way I would explain it is I like to catch the ball. I don't like to hit the ball. So wherever the ball is, I like to catch it with my top hand and continue through it, okay? So wherever that pitch is, if it's a low pitch, catch it and continue through. If it's a high pitch, catch it with my top hand and continue through. I think catching it and continue through it. And the only way you're gonna catch it is you have to get on plane with it and finish high through it. Now that's just my personal thought process on it. Now the next thing you need to have is a hitting approach. Now if you watch my videos, I talked about this a lot because a hitting approach is very important to be a high average hitter. A hitting approach is a plan before stepping into the batter's box. Now I know you can get in here 
and uh, you know you're gonna have to make adjustments you're gonna have to abort your plan but you still want to have a process on what you're trying to do at the plate um, and that's the key we want to stop flipping quarters and we want to uh, give ourselves a high probability of being successful because winning the lottery or buying tickets to win a lottery is a low probability of being uh, rich right so we want to give ourselves a chance of being successful and the way to do that is by uh, having a hitting approach now a hitting approach can be as simple or as complex as you want it a simple hitting approach is i'm just going to look for pitches over the middle of the plate boom easy all right curveball slider whatever is there you're going to hit it a more complex is i'm looking for a pitch only located in this zone right here which is middle away or i'm looking for you know such as so you can make it as complex or as simple as you want but hitting approach is very very key to being successful we want to go up to the plate with the process a plan before we get in there otherwise we're just flipping quarters heads or tails guessing and that's not a good place to determine if we're going to be successful as a hitter so when it comes to a hitting approach a drill i like to do it's called the hitting approach drill basically what you're going to do is you're going to get into the batter's box and the hitter is going to close their eyes now you as the partner right when you're about to flip the ball or if you're a parent right when you flip you tell them to open their eyes and what they're going to do is Whatever their hitting approach is, if it's there, they hit. If they don't, they don't hit it. So you're teaching them to trust their ability to have their hitting approach. And it's something I would do um, off a BP or I would do it off a front toss. I mean, I wouldn't close my eyes on of a BP, but I'm saying as far as like, I would force myself to only hit what I was trying to hit so I can start targeting uh, those zones. Now the next key is being aggressive inside the zone now if you have your hitting approach now it forces you to be aggressive towards that pitch that you're looking for so you have the hitting approach now all right i'm going to zone in on the pitch that is middle away now you're looking for it's almost like you're playing mlb the show you put that box right there and when he throws that pitch right there bam now you hammer that ball to right center gap and uh, you hit your double and if you're focusing and you're dialed in on that and you're set and you believe that you can hit that pitch, you're not gonna miss. Now the next key is letting the ball get deep. Guys that hit for a high average, let the ball get deeper. Cause if you hit the ball more out front, you have to make quicker decisions. You have to go and get that ball. If you're hitting it deeper, you're making later decisions. So we wanna hit the ball here rather than hit the ball here. Okay, so just having this little time right here hidden here, what if that's a cutter? And if it's a cutter, then you go, oh, nope, I'm not swinging, and that's a ball, or it's, you know, cutter off the plate. It looks like it's on the plate, and then it just, nope, that's a ball, okay? That's what good hitters do, and that's how you hit for a high average. You're letting the ball come deeper so you can make a better decision on whether or not you're going to swing at that pitch. Now, I'm not saying be timid at the plate, I'm just saying, you're making better decisions because you're letting the ball get deeper. There's some benefits to that. Again, you can shut it down or the next thing, you walk. Now, 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 Jermaine, you're telling people to walk. No, I'm not telling you to walk. I'm saying that's the benefit, letting the ball get deeper because you do walk. Guys that hit for a high average do walk and they walk a lot because eliminating at bats allows you to be successful. I remember having a conversation with Barry Bonds when I was at UCLA. I asked him, cause it was my year I was gonna get drafted. I asked him like, how do you hit for a high average? How were you able to be successful? And he said, the key to hitting for a high average is eliminating 0 for fours. Now let me say this again, the key to hitting for a high average is to eliminate 0 for fours. You, you don't wanna go 0 for four, but you can go 0 for three. 0 for threes do not hurt your batting average. 0 for four hurts you. So I took that to heart, I was like, dang. He says, if you're 0 for three, 
try whatever you can to not go 0 for 4. If you have to, boom, you know, whatever you need to do to not go 0 for 4, you need to do it. And that stuck with me and he was 100% right. You're trying to eliminate those 0 for 4s. And if you could go 0 for 3 with the walk, that's a great day. That's a great day, eliminate that AB. If you go uh, 0 for you know, 2 with two walks, that's a great day. You keep eliminating those ABs so that when you do get hot, now you're hitting balls and uh, you eliminate those bad at bats. So that's the key right there. You have to walk to hit for a high average, but you don't go up to the plate and be timid trying to walk. You go up to the plate and the pitcher's throwing outside of your hitting approach, and then you just take those pitches. And then that's how you're able to walk. Now, the next key is hard contact. And over my years, I've talked with players that hit 300, 310, 320, and I've asked them so many questions. And one of the things that kept coming up over and over is, processes rather than results and what i mean is they would go to the play saying out of four at bats can i hit the ball hard three out of four times that was the goal every night it wasn't about hits doubles triples it was about hard contact getting a pitch inside the zone that he they can hit hard now if they do that every time they come up to the bat or three out of four times because that was the goal they're gonna hit more line drives, they're gonna hit more home runs, they're gonna hit more doubles, they're gonna hit for a high average. So that was the goal and that was the key. So if you're a young player out there, start thinking in that mindset. Think of processes. You can control getting a pitch that is over the plate and hitting it hard. You can't control what they're doing over there. You can't control what the defense is doing. You can only control what you can control. So thinking that mindset helped me a lot and it freed up my mental side of baseball because I stopped putting pressure on myself saying, I need to get a hit. I need to do this to hit 300, 400. I was like, nah, I just need to hit the ball hard three out of four times. And if I do that, there's at least one or two of those that's gonna fall, you know? And maybe if I get it right, there could be homers and doubles. like. It will happen for you, but you have to change your mindset. And it did happen. Start hitting for more doubles, start getting more extra base hits. I started to hit for high average because I focused in on processes and not focused in on results. So the next key is you have to have a tough mind. You have to be, you have to be really, really strong here. If you have a weak mind, there's no way you're gonna hit for a high average. A person that has a tough mind is not going to give in, meaning whoever is on that mound, they're gonna be like, let's go, I'm gonna beat you. Or if they say that pitcher is throwing pitches off the plate, they're not gonna give in. They're not gonna just go out here and just say, oh, I'm swing. They're gonna stay strong. They're gonna be like, nope. Let's say that the umpire starts calling it off the plate. They're just gonna be like, oh, okay, whatever, I'm still gonna win. You have to have a strong mind to play this game. You have to be tough minded. Some of you guys aren't tough. Some of you guys give in. Some of you guys just don't believe that you can hit for a high average. You just have to start believing in yourself and you have to start practicing in a way that forces you to be strong. You should be sweating when you're done with the at bat because you're so focused and you're not getting in. The pitcher should want to hate to face you because you're never swinging at their pitches and you're forcing them to pitch it right over the middle of the plate. Now, if you have a weak mind, they'd be like, ah, I could throw him anything that's just gonna swing at it. And that's the difference. High average players have a strong mind and they're disciplined and they're patient and they're gonna battle and they're gonna fight. They're just like a gnat, just, they're just to the pitcher, just pitcher just bugged by them the entire time. The last one is your mental game has to be right. You have to believe you can actually do it. Your mental game is on point, you believe in yourself, you've worked your butt off, and you put in the work, there's gonna be no stopping you. So if you do all those things right there, you're going to hit for a high average. I promise you, because those are the keys that help me to hit for a high average in baseball. So with that being said, I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, watch this video right here. This video is gonna help you with your swing. It's gonna help you to uh, hit more line drives. So if that's something you're interested in, click that video and I'll see you in the next video.